Hello, my name is Lynn David and I'm with Clients First Business Solutions. Welcome to this video demonstration on Epicor 10 version IIS reset tip. You will view an alternative technique instead of using the command prompt. Documentation state from Epicor to use the command prompt for IIS reset. The negative is that it will reset every Epicor application pool. Instead, use the IIS manager to perform IIS reset on an individual Epicor application pool. Let's open up the IIS manager and perform the steps to reset IIS for an individual Epicor application pool. You'll want to go ahead to the tree in the left pane and expand your Epicor session. You'll want to then select the application pools. In the middle will display all your application pools that are running. You'll want to search for your Epicor application pool that needs the IIS reset. When you select it, you'll notice on the right that there is the start, stop, and recycle. Select the stop and you'll notice in the status column that the application pool has been stopped. You'll want to give the IIS reset about 15 to 30 seconds to complete. Once you've waited that time frame, you'll want to go up and notice the start is now enabled to be highlighted. Click the start. And now when you go to your status column, you'll notice that your application pool has been restarted. This completes the IIS reset for an individual Epicor application pool. Thank you for joining me in this video demonstration.